My sincere condolences go out to the family of George Floyd, the gentleman who sadly died at the hands of police in Minneapolis. It's a very tragic way for someone to lose their life. And it's going to be very difficult for the family moving forward and indeed the community. The only thing I can say is this, the police officers involved must, they must face the strong arm of the law in this matter. However, we must look as well what's happening on our doorstep right here in Birmingham. Six investigations. The IOPC have done a press release today saying that they're investigating six incidences or six reports of excessive force against members of the black community right here in Birmingham since the 27th of February of this year. Four of these incidences are against the same police officer who is now suspended. Clearly, we know there's a lot of tension about this, but support is at hand. And the important thing to know is that although the tension is there, the people that I've been supporting, which is three of these cases, have felt a lot better when they see something happening. Now, importantly, don't suffer in silence. Time to come forward. You'll be heard. Now, you may believe that you're not being taken seriously. You will be taken seriously by me. I call upon the police and crime commissioner and the chief constable to urgently address this issue because clearly we do not want what happened to George Floyd in Minneapolis to happen to one of our kids here in Birmingham.